First, have a surveyor stake out the wall's placement. Make sure the locations are verified by the project supervisor. Excavate for the leveling pad to the lines and grades shown on the approved plans. Make sure you excavate enough soil behind the wall for the reinforcement material. The soil conditions below the block and lowest reinforcement layer should be evaluated by a geotechnical or qualified engineer to aid in determining if the foundation soil meets or exceeds design specifications. If the soil on site is not adequate, soil corrections must be made or the design engineer must redesign the wall. Wall construction inspections and soil compaction tests should be performed during the wall construction. Once excavation is complete, install the leveling pad. The leveling pad must extend 150 millimeters in front and behind the first course of block and be at least 150 millimeters deep. Compact the aggregate and make sure it's level and at the correct elevation. Laying the base course of block is the most important step in the construction process, both structurally and aesthetically. And be sure to use the right tools, a shovel, a level, and a rubber mallet. Run a string line along the back of the block to help align the base units. Always begin laying the block at the lowest elevation of the wall. Landmark foundation units are 190 millimeters high with a smooth finish on all sides. One method of placing the foundation block is to place the block side by side, flush at the front of each unit. Always make sure the blocks are in full contact with the leveling pad. Use your level front to back and side to side. And for best results, use a spirit level along the length of the wall. An alternative method is to place the foundation units with a gap between each block. This reduces the number of foundation units needed to build the wall. The gaps between the units can be up to 25 millimeters. Make sure the foundation blocks are in full contact with the leveling pad. Then use your level front to back and side to side to ensure that every new block that is placed is level with the previously placed units. When each block is level, check for alignment along the back of the base course with a string line. Tools with built-in levels can also be used to level the foundation soil and aid in installing the base course. Rest the tool on top of the adjacent foundation unit and move sideways across the leveling pad to create a smooth level area on the leveling pad for the next foundation units. Make any necessary adjustments and proceed. Once the base course is installed, leveled and aligned, place infill soil in front and behind the wall and carefully compact.